This is Delani. Um, I am currently sitting and hanging out with Jiwi Morale of Hype Beats. Um, this is an exclusive, exclusive interview. She is in my house, on my couch, in Waipahu, living. <laughs> Ji, say hello to the folks. Hello. Oh, wow. All right, so many people want to know. Um, yes, I'm a boy. <laughs> She's a boy, and I realized that I just said she's a boy, but she is. Um, but many of my viewers wanted to know, like, <laughs> when did you start dancing? I only count three years. Three years? Because that's when I met Hyper Squad, but yeah. So before that three years, did you ever <laughs> like dance at all? Or, yeah. like, what, what brought you to Hyper Squad? Um, that one over there. Um, that one over there would be none other than William Suarez from Hype Five O. William, Will, say hello. Hello. So you're responsible for G coming to Hype. C. All right. Thank you. All right. So back to the interview. Um, and so before actually like taking classes and you know being a part of a group, were you did you see yourself more of like a freestyler or um, more like a a club underground kid like? What was your style? I was a club kid. I mean, granted, we did choreo. It wasn't good choreo, but... Yeah? I guess you can say I started off as a choreo dancer. Yeah, slash choreo. club kid, you know? A club choreo. I grew up in the housing, so we did what we did. All right. That's what's up. Um, and then when you became a part of the Hype family, that's when you kind of just, like, broke out of your show and, I guess, what, just started to serve it to people on a dance floor and on stage? Like, mm, pretty much. Yeah? Yeah. So, I noticed that you're really into voguing. Oh, I think right. everyone <laughs> knows that. Um, I just, I just want to say, like, thank you for bringing that to Hawaii. Like, I, I mean, I tried many years ago, and people just kept saying, why does this boy keep falling down? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And I was like, I'm dancing. And they're like, oh. People say that about me still. No, they're still getting used to it. Okay. But now it's, like, becoming a little bit more popular, and, um... I think that's a lot of, a lot to do with you, and everyone's, everyone knows you as like, oh, geez, that's that's the boy that likes to vogue and dip, and like you know they're, and fall in shablam and debt drop for the nations, and you know you're really well known for that. And what's going on with your hair? <laughs> I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm listening. It looks good. So I just want to say thank you for bringing that to Hawaii and exposing young kids, because now I see like the little Filipino kids like. The little Filipino girls. The little Filipino girls, they think they're over and they think they can be like shablamming everywhere. And do their parents not fear for them injuring themselves? <laughs> or? I think their parents trust me after a year and a half of teaching their kids. Okay, so the parents are a fan of the kids voguing. They are. Okay. Actually, it's weird. They really are. Has um, any of your students gotten hurt? Because I see like, you know, like the way you like wow out and like you just like jump off of things and like will just fall down. And like, is there any like way of like preventing injury um <laughs> there is like there's so many different ways to learn how to dip but like it's it's one of those things where it's like test and trial like you have to just know your body when was the first time you dipped oh i remember are you really want me yes. to ask it i remember um will taught me how to dip at um, at a ashton it was at a drag fundraiser mm -hmm. um oh. Keep going, the camera's still on. And, like, that's where I learned how to dip. Um, I just, I don't know. I had to learn from the ground up. Literally from the ground up, I had to learn. Like, I, we were on the ground on my knee, and I had to, like, <laughs> It was really sore. <laughs> I, I actually thought, well, like, no offense, I actually thought, I thought bullying was retarded. Yeah. I was like, what the hell is this? I would never, learn and then, look. Anyway. Yeah, I got into it as, like, a joke also. Like, I... I saw videos on YouTube. Oh, I didn't even think it was a funny joke. I just didn't like it. I was like, this is ridiculous. And then the next day, boom. <laughs> no, she's always dipping. And 
Um, where was the most randomest place you ever dipped on? Um, like, name things that you've, like, shablammed on. Oh, in the middle of Waikiki. In the middle of Waikiki. Um, Kalakau Avenue. Kala Kala oh, Avenue yeah. Kalakau Kala Avenue actually was the most random one, but um, New York was my proudest dip. I dipped in New York, thank God. Yeah, uh, in Times Square. No, actually, it was really crowded. It was Fashion Week. Uh, oh, uh, that's why Andy South was there. Yeah. That makes sense. And then, let's see, where else? I don't know. I can't really think. I dip everywhere. It's because of you. I, I dip everywhere. Um, working out at sea, I've got the privilege of dipping pretty much everywhere, like on waterfalls, on train rails, um, statues, horseback. Oh. Yeah, I dipped on a horse. Down. I like dipping on people most of all. I'll just be like, <laughs> dip out, <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, but yeah. Uh, anything else you want to let people out there know? Um. Learn how to vogue. I'm telling you, it's whacking, voguing. It's it's gonna take over the world. It is. I honestly believe that that's like the next style of dance that everyone's gonna be like all for. Like, because it's really entertaining. It takes high energy. It takes um, there's definitely a lot, a lot of performance and athletic ability needed to do this. It's kind of like a sport. It really <laughs> is. Oh my god, it really is. Totally. Um, but yeah, Vogue, whacking, everything, yeah. it's taking over. Kind of yeah. like, I feel like if the Olsen twins didn't like fall off the face of the earth, they could have like <laughs> ran for president or they something, could've. you know. They would have teamed up with Oprah. They Olsen would've. twins, Olsen twins and Oprah would have been a laugh. Oprah knows how to dip, I know it. I would dip on Oprah. I would. So would you mind giving um, the viewers at home just like a small little dip right now? Sure. Or just like a small one, like... Oh, where are you going? Are you going to get a running start? Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this is Solani and GV Mormel, and we're saying, yeah. Your face and make you 